What is going on everybody man? King Recon here with day two of my 12 days of anime special which you know is just a great way to look back at the year and all the amazing moments that happened during it and i was originally going to make a kingdom one but i decided since i already did a kingdom video i'll go ahead and do one in another series that i've been wanting to talk about for quite some time and, and you know it, it left a, a little thing in me after i did the live stream on it so yeah we're gonna talk about some hunter hunter awesome sauce today man and as much as i loved chapter 362's you know um how fun it was to read you know getting the introduction of all the nen beasts and seeing theta get spooked by um tedesh uh nen beast uh, like all that was awesome sauce but i gotta talk about the main thing man because we know how we roll here man if you guys have been here uh even if you just joined this year um to the channel um you know how we roll man if this man did not exist then this man be my favorite character in hunter hunter it's it's just the way that it works but he does exist so jane is still the goat but when, when it comes to Corolla, when it comes to anything that has to do with the Phantom Troop, um, my interest is automatically peaks. And, and it's it's always like that. It's always been like that when it comes to uh, the series of Hunter x Hunter. I'm just so interested in their group. I'm interested in their motivations. And I'm interested in what they're going to do and what their future stories have for us. Which is why a lot in, in our discussions that we have here on the channel, we tend to talk about, at, like in the middle of our dark, dark continent discussions, we tend to talk about, you know, what are the troop, what is going to happen to the troop, and also when is Meteor City going to take place. And gyro and all that stuff. I'm, I'm very, very interested when it comes to the story of the Phantom Troop. So with that being said, with this year, we had the final page of chapter 366, which to me is the most memorable page slash panel, or has the most memorable panel uh, as from, from a Hunter x Hunter fan standpoint uh, of the year, in, in terms of the Hunter x Hunter manga, no question. Um, just, you know, going down the page and seeing Crollo in despair. Seeing him just like, you know, the, the guy that was talking to him described him as ready to kill someone. Ready to absolutely go in like swimwear. And the moment that I saw it, the moment that I saw my boy with the hair down like he did back in York New. I mean, because we were, we were wondering how he was going to react to, you know, the troop getting wrecked by Hisoka. And this is, this is exactly how he took it. You know, we knew he wasn't going to take it well, but he's he didn't take it well at all. He didn't take it well at all, man. And the final line of the chapter, ties are not forgotten, they're severed, uh, had us all marking out and going insane because this is what we've been wanting to see for so long, uh, is the advancement in the plot between Kurapika, Krolo, Hisoka. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to the, to, to the Phantom Troop and all, going all the way back to York New, those are the three main pieces, right? So naturally hisoka doing something is not going to progress the the plot with with um with the phantom troop now with with crollo and kropika at least that's the way i see it and crollo and kropika meeting up once again once again to me is one of the moments that i'm looking forward to the most in the series of hunter hunter because it's going to be godly and this right here led led me towards believing that that's going to be very very soon because now crollo is about to he's about to do a mass he, he by himself he might commit a massacre um, ties are not forgotten, they're severed, man. It's It was one of the best ways Togashi's, you know, left, ended a chapter in quite some time. It was, uh, w without question, one of the most memorable moments of this entire arc. And I'm looking forward to seeing if this, if, this, if just the prologue, you know, the prelude to what we're about to see was memorable. Imagine how memorable it's going to be whenever it actually goes down, man. You know, I wanted to talk about it because... You know, and I remember seeing a comment that the very first panel where it said uh, 37,564 uh, was the same exact number, that, or that wasn't the only time we saw that number. We saw that number back in the auction before everybody in the auction got massacred. And I was like, goodness gracious, man, Crollo's gonna go in. So, you know, not only was it hype just seeing Crollo again and, you know, seeing seeing the way that he is right now, and we remember what he did after just Uvo died. Now that multiple spiders have died, Man, Krollo's about to go in. He's about to go in, man. Now, the question here remains is, how is that going to relate to everybody else? Because uh, another thing that, that happened this year that, that, that we found out, one, uh, you know, Kuropika's, we found out what, what Kuropika's ring finger now does, you know, stealing the abilities of everybody else's uh, with, the, with the whale and whatnot, but... Not the whale, I'm sorry, the dolphin. Um, and then, of course, with the Emperor Time, the more he uses it, uh, or, or the longer he's in that state, you know, that, that's draining away at his life. And his life force. So, with that being said, next time the Kuropika is in front of 
Frollo, and he's forced, forced to use this Emperor Time Queen, because all of that is connected, man. With Teddy Snitch, with all the eyes, with Karapika, Krolo, he's so they're all in this boat. It's just ready to explode at any moment. And that's why this boat ride is so exciting because with the next chapter, you never know what could happen. And with, the, and like, none of us expected Krolo to, to have this, this part of the chapter. We were all setting up the stuff with the princes and whatnot. So I just wanted to talk about this, man, because I felt that this moment was absolutely, I mean, like, I'm still talking about it. I'm still remembering, I'm still talking about it. As much as I love 362, and I think that's overall my favorite chapter of the year when it comes to Hunter Hunter, because of how much fun it was to read and seeing all the Nenbies and whatnot, this chapter, the end of chapter 366, with Krolo, you know, stating that legendary line, ties are not forgotten, they're severed, um, it's just a memorable moment that I can't, I just, I can't get out of my mind as a fan of Krolo and as a fan of Hunter x Hunter and the story with the Phantom Troop, because I just, I can't wait to see what's going to take place. What is Krolo going to do? Like, how is he going to go about with this massacre? What is, what's what's happening with Hisoka? You know, and how is that going to relate into the stuff going on with Krop? Because just so many different things. And it's like everything is just ready to explode on the boat, man. And I hope Togashi gives us 10 more chapters and he comes back here on Jan January 29th. But... Let me know what you guys said about this moment, man. I know y'all, if, if you were here right here on the channel, we were all just basking in the hype, man. I think I did a live stream later on that week, too, because I was just that hyped about this. But um, most certainly, I plan on doing another Hunter Hunter live stream before the, the, the manga comes back. So look forward to that. We're going to have a lot of real fun discussion on there, hoping to get some guys from the Hunter Association to join us this time. And uh, But it, it'll be a lot of fun. But thank you all so much for watching. Have an awesome day. 12 days of anime awesome sauce. Ties are not forgotten. They're severed.